Welcome to Valentine's Day! Woo! So today I'm going to teach you how to romance. The key to romance is moisture. Good job. Now that you're moistured, if you feel like it, you can apply a lovely Valentine's Day glow. Just start by covering all that late night Jurassic Park watching first. Fuck that spot in particular. You did it! You're probably gonna sweat, so... Just... Over the top of the shirt is good too, because you just don't want those sweat stains. Get the boobs. Oh yeah. Have a nice Valentine's Day blush. I'm not really that excited to see you. I'm just, you know, rosy in general. So fucking rosy and adorable! Now we contour. Just kidding, I don't know how to do this shit! I'm not even using a real thing. This is like a weird Done! How about a nice come hither wing, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Great. Lipstick. I'm gonna go with a nice desperate. Wait a minute. What's the Amidala? The Senate does not recognize Lord Palpatine. Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> when trying to romance somebody, you want to make them feel like they're the only person in the world. Which is why you should paint them a mural. Some red for passion, blue for courage, green for the tree of love, an apple for serenity, some jade for balance. Now add a cricket just for luck. And even you can't blow it. Red's just such a it's such a powerful color. It kind of it adds to the um, just the excitement of a piece. It really makes someone feel exposed and interested in in all kinds of things. It's just like it's such a good color to use if you're like if you want to like really make someone feel as though they are special to you. Alright, so you've gotten your makeup done, you dressed all fancy, you wore red, um, Oh, I lost my scarf somewhere in the painting. But that doesn't matter. You've done so much for them. You've got them wine. You've got them chocolates. I even got some macaroons handmade. Just kidding. You even painted your Valentine a self-portrait. Look at that. That's me. And that dark figure over there, far, far away from me, is the Valentine. And we're running together in the same direction just not together and, and the, my, my Valentine's far ahead of me. So you've done all this for this person and, and you know what? Sometimes it's just not enough. So the final thing that I would recommend doing to romance somebody is to write them a sonnet. And I will now perform mine for you. Here we go. I call this Sex on the Beach. Yo, here's a sonnet. You want it? Yeah. Yo. 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 Through glistening sunlight, I see your face. My eyes dripping like you sprayed me with mace. Shall I compare thee to a sweet perfume, as if you exude the food you consume? Your glorious visage <laughs> and wonderful taste. Your nakedest body like a turkey I baste. The touch is electric, my heart is a bloom. Into my basement for you I'll entomb and keep your secrets safe and kiss you with haste. And if thou gets cranky, I'll give you some space for thou art my deepest and dearest desire and my life is so full cause you set it ablaze. And now you know how to romance.
If you take these simple, simple steps, you too will be sitting at home by yourself eating macaroons. And to be honest, it's a big win. Have a great, great Valentine's Day. And just take care of yourself. This may have seemed all ridiculous, but I'm getting to eat a bunch of macaroons, have a lovely bit of wine, watch a movie, and I painted two paintings today. This one and one that I'm not going to show you. They're just for me. Moral of the story is, don't put paint on your face. It's behaving like one of those really painful face masks, except there's no skin benefits to red acrylic paint all over your face. Cosmo didn't give you that kind of advice, did they? Just a touch of your love, oh, just a touch of your love, it's enough to not be.